हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई होप यू लाइक द ओल्ड वीडियो ऑफ क्लीनर हार्ट टेस्ट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू यूनिवर्सल टेस्टिंग मशीन हाउ इट वर्क Before showing you the components, I want to tell you what we can check in universal testing machine. Mainly, we can do tensile test by which we can measure tensile strength, yield strength, and percentage elongation of the material. We can also check the bend test by bend test. We can measure or check the ductility of the material. Now I am showing you the components. This is upper cross set, and you can see there is two jaw fitted in there, and the space in between is for tensile sample, and this is movable cross set. There is also two jaw which is fitted inside of movable cross set. We can move the cross set up and down. As you can see, I am keeping it down. Similarly, we can up it by pressing the up button. And the space in between, this is for compression test. We can keep the sample here and do the compression test. For this, we can we have different types of mantles also. We can install the mantle here and do the bend. This is the sample for tensile test. We can take different types of material and different types of sample. But generally, we do flat sample or round sample. For today's tensile test, we do round solid sample. Before starting the test, we have to measure the gauge length. Basically, we measure gauge length because to determine the percentage elongation of the material. So. At first, we are measuring the dia of this round solid. This is 16 mm. So the gauge length will be 5.65 root over cross sectional area. So it will be 80. So we will take gauge length 80 and mark it. As you can see, we put the sample in UTM, and there is a control unit. There is two main component in the control unit. One is hydraulic power unit, and one is speed limit unit. Before starting the test, we have to close the hydraulic power unit, and after starting the test, we will increase the power gradually, depending on how much speed we need. as our machine is computerized we can see the reports in computer also for this we have to give input data in the computer for this we are doing a, opening a new file we can keep the file name as tensile test our sample outer data is 16 so this is okay gauge length is also 80 we will do the yield calculation so we will keep it in yes company name xyz and everything is okay now i am saving it now we will do the start test in there is outer data is also written as 16 gauge length is 80 everything is okay safe load is 600 kN that is all right and we will make the yield by graph so this is also fine so we are starting
starting the test and we have to give 10 to 20 seconds of preload switching on the machine and giving preload around 10 seconds Preload is given around 10 seconds. Now I am adding the load. And starting the test now. As you can see load is increasing gradually. And you can see in below the load rate, displacement rate and time. And the graph is making now. You can see the notch here that is yield strength at around 59.72 kilo in between 74.65 kilo and load is still increasing that is 129.9. So we got the yield here. This is the yield point. Now the load is getting lower now. You can see the cup and cone shape in middle. So this is two broken parts. I have to measure the elongated gauge length now. We mark the gauge length before starting the test is 80. So this is now 98.3. So I keeping it, it's 98.3. Now the final dia. The final dia is, as I can uh, see the specimen has cup and cone shape in the breaking part. This is 12.4. So dia reduced. 12.4 from 16 now if I close the report and result is saved the report is already published and you can see the report 
the tensile strength is 0.647 kN per mm2 yield stress is 0.365 kN per mm2 and the elongation is 22.875% this is the report and you can see the elongation is there and there is yield strength and there is tensile strength ok if you like my video post your valuable comment and subscribe my channel